The resource module serves as an extension to the production module and together they provide a base platform for managing light manufacturing processes in SAP Business One. A resource is a commodity, machine or labour for example, used to produce goods and services. In this clip, we are going to create a new resource master record for a cutting machine, allocating the required resource group and cost definitions. Logged in to SAP Business One, we now navigate to the resources module and open up resources master data. In add mode, we are now able to add our new resource. We define the resource number, and we also add a description for our resource, which will be a cutting machine. We then ensure that the resource type is a machine. If we selected labour, for example, the employee tab will appear instead of the fixed assets tab. By setting the resource type as a machine, the fixed asset tabs appears to manage this asset appropriately. We now need to select the appropriate resource group. We're going to select the cutting resources group. By choosing this resource group, the default standard costs are inherited in the grid below automatically. These were set up when the resource group was created. You can override these properties. If we drill down into the resource group, we can see that we've defined a resource type. The components below relate to the resource, whereby, for example, for each time, based on the unit of measure defined for this resource, that the machine is run, the stamping cost is £2 and the cutting cost is £2.50. Should there be additional costs required for this resource, you can update the resources group to manage the additional costs. In addition, you can split the resource costs into different cost types. For example, the GL accounting setup for each cost allows it to be posted to a corresponding GL account specifically for that cost. We then select our appropriate issue method, which will be Backflush. Choosing Backflush, components are automatically issued to the production order. The manual issue method allows you to issue components manually, often used when components require serial or batch management. We have now begun the creation of our new master record and allocated the required resource group and appropriate cost definition.